CAFEX Live Assist for Dynamics 365 was designed with a CRM-first approach. CAFEX leverages the power of your CRM investment by taking a CRM-focused approach to customer care. Unlike many of our competitors who limit interaction with your CRM to record lookup or creation, or force your agents to manually copy and paste data toggling between disparate systems and wasting valuable agent and customer time, our goal is to enable brands to service customers more efficiently and take advantage of the wealth of information, customization, and flexibility that Dynamics 365 CRM provides. Our exclusive relationship with Microsoft grants us access to APIs that make us the closest thing to a native omnichannel solution in Dynamics, with targeting and ease of use unmatched by other competitors. I'm showing our chat widget on the right-hand side of the Dynamics web client here. Our solution also works with the Unified Service Desk, which can provide an even richer and more customizable experience. In addition to providing a user-friendly, data-rich service, we also empower the use of artificial intelligence to facilitate customer interactions. Bots can be leveraged before a chat starts to prevent agents from answering repetitive, simple questions, allowing your contact center to become more efficient and improving customer satisfaction. They can also be used during a chat to help facilitate manual processes, such as collecting information for record creation or regulatory compliance processes. Let's get started with a demo to walk through a bot-enhanced customer interaction. In this example, we're starting with a banking website, and we've got an existing personal banking customer who's going to be looking for information about an auto loan. They're going to start by logging into the banking website, and they're already signed in, so they just need to click the Login button. We've enabled in uh, authentication between the website and uh, the CRM, so we're going to be able to look up that contact record automatically and associate it with the exact right customer. When the customer clicks to chat because they're too impatient to navigate to the auto loans page themselves, they're going to be greeted by a bot named Boddington. Um, who's going to use the authentication data to greet the customer by name and introduce themselves and tee up that they can transfer them to a human agent if they can't answer the customer's questions. So uh, Bob's going to start by asking uh, if they provide auto loans. And the bot is going to say, yes, they do. Um, they provide loans for new and used vehicles for up to 80% of the value. Um, they provide discounted rates for existing banking and mortgage customers as well. So a couple of things to think about here. <clears throat> First of all, using a bot to answer these kind of basic questions helps prevent your agents from having to answer those same questions over and over again. Additionally, uh, for regulatory or compliance purposes, you can provide really consistent messaging. Bob is always going to hear um, that it's 80% of the value, and he's also getting the opportunity to be upsold or cross-sold because they provide discounted rates for existing banking and mortgage customers. So in addition to making your agents more efficient and focusing on the things that you really need a human touch to accomplish, bots can help streamline the process and make sure that you're providing consistent messaging every time about your products. So he also wants to know what interest rate he'll get. And that's where um, the bot is not able to help him. So the bot's going to talk about how there are many different um, things that can impact the interest rate that you receive and that you need to talk to a human to find that out. So he's going to type transfer to get transferred to an agent, and then he'll just type yes to confirm that transfer. So on the agent side, we're going to receive a notification that we have a chat waiting for us. And we'll just go ahead and click to grab that chat. Now, a few things are happening in our integration with Dynamics here. First of all, you can see we have a chat context window that's open up here to provide us with a really heads up view of the customer and their information. Because we're using um, authentication here, we automatically know the customer's name and we automatically know their contact information. So if I click this contact, it's gonna take me directly to Robert Lyon's contact record and I know I'm talking to exactly this Robert Lyon. If I go back to that chat context, I can see he's had some past activities with us. Looks like he's been very busy today. <laughs> um, he's also got an open case in process, and it's been open for a year. Um, we can see he's got, uh, we did not have a pre-chat survey because he's an authenticated customer. Um, we have his browser information from his internet service provider here, as well as his operating system, whether he's on a desktop or a mobile device, and what browser he's on. So we can help troubleshoot technical issues this way as well. Um, we can see how long he waited to get into a chat, what time he requested that 
update start, what time you got transferred to a human agent, um, and if there was a bot escalation involved. We can also see what page the chat started from. If you were on a mobile device, we would see additional information about that mobile device here. Um, and we can also see the breadcrumb trail of the pages that they've navigated in their current session. Furthermore, um, because this was transferred in, uh, we can see here that it was transferred by Boddington. If I scroll up, I can see the entire context of that chat that occurred before it was transferred to me. So I can review that instead of asking the customer those same questions, I'll know the answers to that. But I do wanna go ahead and greet the customer with a canned message, telling them that I'm gonna go ahead and review what they discuss with the bot, and then I'll get back to them um, once I have done that. So I've done that. I know they're um, interested in an auto loan. I'm going to go ahead and tell them that I'm aware of that. And we're going to offer to start a co-browse session so that we can actually walk them through the application process. To start a co-browse session on the agent side, I just click this blue button here. That's going to open a new window for me as the agent so that I can see the customer's whole browser. And on the customer side, I'm going to get asked to accept that request for security purposes. An orange bar outlines what I'm sharing with the agent. It does not include the address bar or any of my bookmarks or those kinds of things. It's really just a screen print of the actual content of my browser. Furthermore, uh, because Bob made the mistake of starting this on his personal banking details page, it could have been pretty tacky for the agent to see that information, but instead we've redacted it. So the agent isn't exposed to that private information with his banking details if he doesn't need to be. Um, so that, that's go we've gone ahead and redacted that. Using CoBrowse, the agent can now navigate the website on the customer's behalf. So he's just going to click the auto loans page and scroll down to the middle of that page to help the customer with the auto loan process. They have some annotation tools to help them guide the customer so they can spotlight, um, circle, and highlight information to get the customer to um, navigate the website better themselves and be more efficient at doing this activity in the future. They can also go ahead and click apply now to have the customer start the application process. Our CoBrowse tool allows you to actually help the customer fill in forms. Um, ideally, you'd have some of this automated with your authentication tool or even use a bot to collect this information as well. But in this case, we're helping the customer fill in a web form. You'll see I've got two more fields redacted here. Those are the social security and birthday fields because the agent doesn't need to know that information, but they can go ahead and help the customer fill in that information and ask the customer to fill in those fields themselves. So they're gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of those fields. And click apply. So let's say that clicking apply is integrated with your CRM system as well, and it initiates an automated quote process. So your agent doesn't have to do anything manually there. Um, but it also generates a contract if the customer approves that quote and the agent wants to help the customer get through this sale on this initial contact. So they're going to go ahead and click the push file paperclip and send through an example contact contract for the customer to take a look at. Um, the customer is going to have to accept again for security purposes because we're changing how we engage. You'll see that the PDF appears on the agent side and the customer side and the agent has those same tools available to help the customer figure out where they need to sign that contract and send it back in. So at the end of that session, they can just close the co-browse window. It can be terminated on either the customer or the agent side. Um, the agent could open a case if they needed to follow up with the customer for any reason. They could open um, an opportunity or a lead as well. Um, I've got the most bare bones install of Dynamics possible here, but you can imagine that you can further automate this process using the data that we provide to um, really make this as easy as possible for your agents using the workflows that are most important for your business. So you could automate the origin or the case title or whatever based on what skill it comes in, for example, or who your agent is or what page they started the chat from. All that information is available to you to, to make custom workflows in Dynamics based on those information. 
when the chat has ended, the customer will receive a post chat survey. Um, they're allowed to disposition the chat from a customer satisfaction perspective, and they can request an email transcript of the chat as well. Once the chat ends on the agent side, you can have access to that data in Power BI, for example. So you can build your own dashboards in Power BI using chat data. This is an example of the existing customer service dashboard that pulls in call and email data, and you can build something like this to pull in your chat data as well. So um, the sky is really the limit when it comes to what you can accomplish with the tools that Dynamics provides. So just to recap a little bit, I showed you um, how a CRM first approach can make it more efficient for your agents to service your customers. We didn't have to toggle back and forth except for me toggling back and forth between the customer and agent view, but the agent didn't have to do any toggling themselves. Um, we also showed you how bots can be used to enhance that customer interaction and make your agents much more efficient as they're really focusing on what a human can provide value for and not on answering those repetitive information questions. Um, thanks.